Hello and welcome to my presentation on Reagan and the genes of Marie Curie. Then about this platin. So I did all six. Okay, um, I did my presentation on radium. Coffee. Everybody, is everybody paying attention? Um, the physical properties is that it's usually silver in colour, extremely radioactive, soft and luminescent, which means it emits light that isn't caused by heat. And even though it's the heaviest member of the alkaline earth metals, it's also the most volatile meaning that it evaporates the easiest. Um, it has a melting point of 700 degrees, which is similar to that of magnesium, which is 650, and calcium, which is 842. It's a cytotoxic chemotherapy drug. Cytotoxic means it affects or kills cells, um, and it's widely used in a range of different types <coughs> of tumours, cancers, or growth by attaching to and stopping DNA from being copied and ultimately causing the cell death. Uh, it was discovered by Albert Magnus and it also became a favourite murder weapon in the Middle Ages and there were many notable deaths including King George III, Napoleon and an American explorer Charles Francis Hall. Maria was taught at home by her father Vladislav Sivovsky and by the age of four she was a very confident reader. Um, the time that Marie Curie was born, uh, Poland was um, under occupation by the Russians. Uh, so, uh, Polish, most of Polish education, science, and things were banned at this time, basically, and um, you had to do things in secret. Caffeine is one of the world's most widely used psychoactive drugs, which are basically drugs that affect your mood. Um, it's been consumed by humans since the Stone Age and they used to chew on the leaves of certain plants and they noticed that they had stimulating effects and it's found in over 60 different types of plants. Wikidote history is, well it was first described by Michael Pyron in 1845. It was known for a long time as Pyron salt, which is deep yellow in colour. Um, it was then, in 1893, the structure of it was discovered by Alfred Werner, which I'll show on the next slide. Um, then in 1965 it was discovered that the electrolysis of platinum electrodes produced a soluble compound that prevented the cell division of E. coli bacteria, but not the growth of the cells. So the bacteria would continue to grow up to about 300 times its normal size, but it, the cells wouldn't divide. It's mainly used in compounds. A much smaller amount of the element is used in alloys. It can be used in lead storage batteries in cars and trucks contain alloys of lead and arsenic. Uh, the amount of arsenic there is going to decrease because it's dangerous, because it can easily get into the environment and it has damaging consequences. Uh, so uh, she went to school and uh, from a very young age she showed her genius in science and education uh, in anything. Uh, and Warsaw University was uh, unfortunately closed to women at the time, and uh, which forced Maria, Maria to uh, give up her studies in science, and she left to join uh, wealthy relatives in the country. Uh, and she stayed so she could support her sister Bronya at uh, Sorbonne University in Paris, and later um, she, her sister Bronya could help her get into Sorbonne University. And, um if you, if you notice that the melting point is higher than the boiling point, which is basically because it's sublimed, and it, it jumps from, from a solid to a gas straight away without an immediate, intermediate liquid phase. It <coughs> causes skin cancer, and as you can see, this guy here has skin cancer because it's stuck in his hands. And also, um, it harms the nervous system, as well as the heart and the blood vessels. And it also causes birth defects, as you can see. This part's a bit deformed. So this is the structure. Um, the cis part of the name means that the um, groups are on the same side. Um, so transplanting would be that that one and that one be swapped over. Um, but transplanting isn't as effective. Um, so why does caffeine give you a buzz? Well, um, adenosine molecules are in your system and they, they bind to receptor cells in your brain and um, which basically 
um, slows down your nerve cell activity, so it makes you tired, and this usually happens in your sleep. But, um, but the caffeine molecule has a similar structure to it, so it, it can also bind to these receptor cells and acts as a competitive inhibitor. And um, so basically it prevents the adenosine cell, so it, it um, delays the onset of fatigue. Just a few weeks after giving birth, you published the first scientific paper which was on her magnet research and it standardised the uh, manufacture of magnets for electrical generators. So all the electricity that we use today, doing this PowerPoint, we've got Madame Curie to thank as well as the radium. Um, they found and extracted the radium from uranium ore and this is because they found that when the uranium ore was radioactive, they then removed the radium, no, the uranium, and found that the radium was still radioactive on its own. There is a murder theory and an accident theory to how he died. Uh, the murder theory was that British captured poison him, whereas the accident theory was that um, his wallpaper was contaminated with arsenic and that's what killed him. But um, both theories completely saying that he died of stomach cancer but, and they found that out by finding his nip in his head hairs. Um, some other uses of it are glow in the dark stuff like clocks and watches. It was actually used in toothpaste and illuminous paints and their lives and stuff but it's considered to be too dangerous so it's no longer used. It filters out the it filters out the caffeine here. And then it goes, it's on an ongoing process, so it carries on going, it takes about 10 hours and then eventually we get the caffeine on it, so we get the coffee, but there's always a little bit left over. Um, but yeah, and then the caffeine can be used and the decaffeinated coffee can be used as well. So radium has now been discovered and uh, a little few little facts there for you. The uh, atomic number, the atomic weight, the melting point, the boiling point, the density, the phase of room temperature and uh, the elemental uh, classification as well. The electron shell uh, configuration is uh, one of the uh, heavier elements. Um, all the elements above lead are radioactive uh, because of their size and uh, to do with uh, protons and neutrons and electrons as well. And uh, as soon as it was discovered and uh, Marie published her work, um, there was a massive hype about radium. Wow, this magical element. So the cell should just continue to just grow, which it doesn't. So this pattern somehow triggers cell death, which is obviously a main part of getting rid of tumor cells. Um, and the mechanism for that isn't really isn't known. There's, there's many theories, but there's no definite explanation for it. Mr. Gibbs' theory is correct. <laughs>